know that there existed some LEGO sets that were so controversial that LEGO had to ban them forever? From various Star Wars sets, yes, hard to believe, to even a Holocaust LEGO representation, LEGO sure had to explain a lot. Tag along and discover some of these crazy and controversial sets with us. Starting this series strong, we have the LEGO Star Wars Assault and Hoth set that launched in 2016, which recreated the Rebel Force's Echo Base from Star Wars in Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back, and took place on the scene that was the famous Battle of Hoth, one of the most known conflicts of the Star Wars original trilogy. This set wasn't exactly banned because it was controversial, but because the set really disappointed Star Wars fans. At first glance, the set looks pretty decent. It has 2,144 pieces and 14 minifigures with assorted weapons, including Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Torin Farr, Rebel Officer, which by the way is a great name for a Rebel Officer, Wes Jansen, Wedge Antilles, K-3PO, five Rebel Troopers and two Snow Troopers, an R3A2, Taun Taun, and a Wampa. This set is big, with an instruction book with over 200 pages. But what disappointed fans was not the size nor the theme, it was the details. Controversy started when fans noticed that not all the minifigures got all the printings, like Luke and the Rebel Officer who didn't get leg printings. Also, the models looked like they were missing a few more bricks, especially the Ion Cannon and the Echo Base doors, and the instructions said to pair the set with the other Star Wars sets that were already discontinued. Fans also complained that there weren't any new elements or designs, but that can have something to do with LEGO or Disney or the standard looks that they want to give Star Wars sets, who knows? The T-47 airspeeder was pretty nice though. But with only two snowtroopers and almost no firepower, the Imperials didn't get a chance against the base's three sections shield generator. And without leg printings, but skirts! Finally, the price point played against it. This set was pricey to say the least. And even though it was thought for adults, fans thought the set was not worth so much money, especially with the lack of attention to detail for a set with the Ultimate Collector's series label. This set was then discontinued about a year after its release. And if there didn't exist enough religious controversies in the world, it seems Lego, without purpose, or so I want to believe, created a product that according to the public was perpetrating Muslim stereotypes. We're not talking about anything other than Star Wars' Jabba's Palace set, famous for being the location where Princess Leia, Chewbacca, and Han Solo were kept captive and Luke had to rescue them all. A truly memorable moment for the return of the Jedi. Also, the scene where Jabba objectifies Princess Leia and makes her wear a white bikini. Unforgettable. Now, the problem with this set was not Princess Leia in a bikini but the resemblance the exterior of the set had with the Mosque of Hagia Sophia, located in Istanbul, Turkey, a very important Byzantine structure that's known as one of the world's great monuments. Someone in Lego sure thought that's why it looked familiar, after the bomb exploded. A Byzantine-worshipped mosque turned into a palace of diabolic Jabba the Hutt? When this set came out, it generated controversy as many believed it promoted insensitive commentary on the Islamic religion, and when the Turkish community raised its voice and demanded an apology from LEGO Group. Fun fact is that LEGO tried to explain how the Byzantine holy building resembled Jabba's palace, and there wasn't any hidden intention behind the Star Wars set. Way to go, right? Obviously, the Turkish cultural community didn't like that and continued to pressure LEGO until the product was retired not even two years after launching. Now, Star Wars sets are really topping this list off of the craziest banned LEGO sets ever. And I don't really want to know the problem LEGO has with its Star Wars sets designers. But LEGO Palpatine's Arrest is another set that achieved the banned label. Maybe the problem is LEGO designers love the violent scenes in Star Wars epic battles the most. I understand them. Anyways, this LEGO set recreates the scene from the Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith battle taking place in Palpatine's office, where Mace Windu was going to capture Chancellor Palpatine. It was released in 2012 and many said that this product was not exactly recreating a kid-friendly scene. It was a rather cruel scene where, saying it nicely, the good guys didn't have a good end, and the bad guys took everything. Now let's move on to another set that was controversial from the moment it was announced for release. LEGO The Simpsons Set LEGO was going to launch this set to celebrate the show's 25th anniversary. Okay, we all know that this TV series is controversial by itself, and that it's not exactly kid-friendly. But The Simpsons is one of the most loved TV shows in America, reaching 24 seasons in 2022. 
But what was the issue with the Lego set based on the TV series? Were these sets super offensive or inappropriate for children in any way? Well, not exactly. The problem was that the Lego fans did not like that Lego turned the Simpsons into Lego figures. Some of them said the theme is not appropriate for children and others said the TV show was too old. So why make it into a Lego now? So many of the fans who were upset said they were going to boycott the brand. Particularly, I would have loved this set and recreating some of the most iconic moments from the beloved Yellow family. The 17th Lego minifigure, infamous Mr. Gold, is also the protagonist of a controversy. This minifigure was a special added Lego included in the 16 minifigures set to be released in 2013 to celebrate the 10th anniversary set of the collectible figures. Launching only 5,000 figures of this golden fella, Mr. Gold was a real goose of golden eggs for Lego. Because after the announcement, people went crazy buying minifigures to try and get the special golden minifig. In fact, the shopping spree was so crazy that it initiated a wave of mass returns, as adult LEGO fans were buying cases of the single-pack minifigures and tried to feel with their hands if it was the golden figure. And if it wasn't, they just returned it and so on, making stores store these collectible packs in hard plastic cases, just like high-end products. However, when LEGO profited incredibly well from Mr. Gold, many saw the marketing and selling strategy as a brilliant cash grab, as the minifigure was really hard to find and had nothing else that made it special or different from others. Just the golden coat of paint. It is uncommon when LEGO starts controversy about a product resembling weaponry or military accessories, as LEGO has a strict policy regarding that topic, believing that war should not be seen as child's play. That's why when LEGO announced that it was going to release a detailed Technic version of the Bell Boeing B-22 Osprey, fans were confused and the controversy started. The Bell Boeing B-22 Osprey is a combat military aircraft that uses tilt rotor technology to combine the vertical performance of a helicopter and the speed and range of a fixed wing aircraft. And it is exclusively used by the military for a variety of operations, classified of course. Now, the initial idea, according to LEGO, was to highlight the importance of the Bell Boeing B-22 Osprey as a rescue aircraft. But the German Peace Society didn't buy that noble explanation and threatened LEGO with starting protests outside LEGO stores if the set was released. So, as you can imagine, it got cancelled. But LEGO sets are not only banned for quality or moral issues. Did you know that there's even a story of a toy store owner who refused to sell Harry Potter Lego sets because they believe that these magical sets expose children to witchcraft? Well, devout Christian Cary Grant was sure of it. If only that were true. Lego, please take my money and let me receive my Hogwarts letter. Now, emotional damage wasn't the only thing that Lego gave some of its fans when it came out with the Lego Explorer Super Truck in 2002 and 2003. The toy looked like a typical truck. It was a red plastic pickup dump truck toy and toy product designed for children's ages 18 months and up. But it had an issue. The wheels could be removed, revealing a dangerous spike-like metal axle. Now, was this so serious? Yes, because LEGO got at least 10 reports of kids getting injured from the axle after removing the wheels, two of them getting severe puncture injuries from the axle. The incident demonstrated that this LEGO product possessed a puncture hazard to young children, provoking a massive recall of around 358,000 of these trucks in 2006, banning this truck from any home forever, if it was returned, of course. I don't know if you know, but LEGO has a long and stable relationship of over 50 years with Shell Oil. Well, that's a commitment example. These two brands partnered for a long time and launched many sets together, like gas stations and oil rigs, a theme a bit predictable, yes. And Shell-branded LEGO sets were sold in gas stations in 26 countries. However, this merry relationship was abruptly criticized back in 2014, when the independent organization Greenpeace made a striking campaign asking LEGO to end its partnership with Shell. Everything happened after LEGO launched its Arctic set, picturing the magical North Pole. Greenpeace called LEGO hypocrites because of this partnership with Shell, or that's what they implied. Shell, the company oil, wasn't exactly eco-friendly as it takes advantage of melting ice from the north to drill for more fossil fuels. Remember climate change and global warming? Shell likes it. According to Greenpeace, Shell tried to improve its image through its partnership with LEGO. Greenpeace then appealed to one of LEGO's biggest objectives, leaving a better world for children, and launched an explosive and massive global campaign with impacting images asking LEGO to block Shell. 
After that viral campaign, LEGO ended its partnership with Shell. They really didn't have any other choice. And people banned all Shell-partnered LEGO sets. Do you know what the term window licker means? In 2015, LEGO released its product number 41543 called Turg. This toy in itself didn't have anything wrong. However, the reason it was banned was because of how LEGO described it on the website. The toy was described on the website as looking like an experiment that's gone very, very wrong. Part frog, part chicken, part back of the bus window licker, this mixel has the longest tongue of them all. The term window licker is often used as a derogatory term to refer to people with learning disabilities. So it was no surprise that mental health charities called out LEGO for utilizing highly offensive terms on toy descriptions. Of course, LEGO changed Turg's description and also stepped out and said that LEGO Mixels aim to inspire creativity using quirky fictional characters to help children express their imaginations. In that same statement, the LEGO representative apologized for using offensive wording and said that they will make sure it doesn't repeat. Of course, what are some good controversial stories without one being about sexist stereotypes? Well, LEGO also fell into this pothole. In 2012, LEGO was called out by Time editor Ruth Davis Koenigberg because of its LEGO product Friends, a product designed targeting girls. Koenigsberg pointed out that this set was promoting gender stereotypes and making it too girly. Even now, when we are under Barbie fever and you can see hot pink everywhere, the Friends set was not that empowering for all, apparently. As this product was marketed for girls who were extremely gendered, featuring hair salons, bakeries, and accessories for the female Lego characters, including hairbrushes, purses, lipstick, and cooking utensils. But wait, even when a pressing petition urged Lego to rethink its marketing strategy, the toy company didn't budge. I mean, Lego got some pants because the company even received a Toady Award for Worst Toy from Fair Play. Toady standing for Toys Oppressive and Destructive to Young Children, not something you can brag about. Lego, of course, defended itself and came out saying how it was trying to make Lego more inclusive for girls, as the creation of this set was fueled by a research where 3,000 girls said they wanted to find relevance in Lego construction sets. Remembering the majority of the products before 2004 were mostly marketed for boys, making Lego Friends a success for the brand. Then again, LEGO was not only accused of designing products that promoted sexist stereotypes for girls, but it was also accused of promoting catcalling and bad behavior examples for boys in 2013. What happened to LEGO's more gender-neutral advertising and design approach back in the 80s? We'll never know. What we do know is that in 2013, LEGO released a construction playset that included, as you can imagine, construction workers and multiple stickers, one in particular with a playful twist, depicting a construction worker shouting, Hey babe! Critics didn't wait to come and many said the poster promoted catcalling, which is a form of street harassment many girls and women often face every day, setting a bad example for young boys. Critics came especially from offended parents of young boys like Josh Stearns, who was shocked when he saw the sticker and wrote a letter complaining to LEGO. Stearns shared his thoughts about the offending sticker online, and parents and blogs agreed with him, including a Stop Street Harassment, which wrote about how street harassment was normalized because it's often portrayed on kids' toys. LEGO's first response to Stearns' letter was far from disappointing, saying that they often used humor in the playsets and apologized if he was offended. Well, it seems no one thought it was funny at this point. Not happy with their response, Stearns wrote another letter and achieved a better outcome, banning the LEGO set. One of the most recent bans for LEGO products was done by the giant Asian country China. The LEGO set in question is product number 40516, called Everyone is Awesome, and was designed by LEGO Group's Vice President of Design, Matthew Ashton. This LEGO set was the first with the LGBTQIA plus theme and representation, illustrating the colors of the Progress Pride flag with 11 color stripes that represented a different quality or community within the LGBTQIA plus spectrum. According to some Chinese social networks, this set was removed and banned from selling in the country in 2021 due to portraying sensitive topics. However, this move from China is not unexpected, as members of the LGBTQIA community face direct discrimination in China, facing anti-LGBT practices from the Chinese government, such as banning same-sex couples from marrying or adopting. As if world history about the crazy German guy, aka Hitler, tried to eradicate Jewish people from the earth, a crazy move in every sense didn't teach us anything, LEGO almost launched a LEGO concentration camp. 
Now this was not actually an idea of LEGO designers. The story starts when a renowned Polish artist and photographer, Mr. Liberia, wanted to make his 1996 art project out of LEGO. LEGO agreed with his idea and supplied him bricks. But obviously there was a miscommunication between LEGO and Liberia, because Liberia reappeared months later with a super realistic Nazi concentration camp from the Holocaust, built from LEGO bricks including barracks, watchtowers, skeleton prisoners and other must-haves for concentration camps all beautifully packed in what seems to be the official LEGO packaging. I can imagine the dumbfounded face of LEGO's representatives when they saw that. LEGO then threatened Liberia with taking legal action, banning his set forever. However, you still can see it on display in the Museum of Modern Art in Warsaw as part of the Liberia collection, as LEGO ultimately donated the bricks to Liberia to do his art. Wow, that was a wild list of LEGO sets that got banned. Some for serious ethical reasons, others for disappointing fans, and others, well, not an actual reason at all. But what is true about all of them is that offending a community is a big deal that LEGO cannot afford. Thanks for getting to the end of this list of the craziest banned LEGO sets ever. If you love this content, don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications to not miss out on any interesting videos about LEGO. Bye bye!